Hey everyone, this is just a brief overview demo of Hot Reload in Visual Studio 2022. I'm using a Blazor WebAssembly standalone project, so not no .NET Core hosted. It's, you know, Azure Static Web App compatible. Um, and on the right here, I have a simple test profile fo um, page set up. And we're going to try to change this icon here. I'm using Kestrel, not IIS Express. And this is the parameter on this app card component that I'm gonna change. So you'll have to keep your eye on this guy up here because as soon as the, the page, as soon as I save on the page, it will start trying to update the UI. So I'm gonna say icon dot, let's say inventory. And I'll say save. And you see how this went away, right? So just gonna see how long this takes to update. Yeah, so about 45 seconds to update a single parameter. Um, so I know that they're working on these things and um, they're having all of these speed improvements, but this could be honestly an awesome feature once they kind of get the uh, performance. Obviously this is a preview of Visual Studio 2022, release candidate two. Um, and if we just change this, you know, remove this parameter, and go save. What we're looking for is when the hot reload button appears again, it's kind of done hot reloading, so to speak. So yeah, the first change took probably 50 seconds. So definitely uh, room for improvement, but once they get that updated, it's gonna be a awesome feature. We are back, we are all hot reloaded, but it didn't update. So the only time I guess you can get it to do it on parameters, so to speak, is changing them, not removing them. I'm gonna change it to profile photo, profile, person profile photo. So the hot reload's kind of going there. I'm not sure if I said earlier, but I have a Alienware with a Core i9 that was bought maybe two months ago. So not a hardware resource constraint issue on the, the hot reload. And there we go. It's like probably about 40 or 35 seconds to change that. But yeah, no update to the page, it kind of flickered, and uh, yeah, you still have your state um, and all that. So yeah, pretty amazing. Once they get the speed um, updated, as we get into .NET 6.1 and all of that goodness, um, this is going to be a well, um, well welcome feature to all of the Blazor uh, .NET developers out there. Thanks.